Hello, my name is Elise Katz. I'm a children's librarian at the Acton Memorial Library in Massachusetts. I also work in Needham and Wayland, and I'm here today to do a family activity craft that I call Bunch of Flowers. It's late May here, and the spring is looking very beautiful, and so I've had flowers on my mind. We are going to do three different projects and I'm going and they're different with different materials and so on. So I'll begin with the first one. These are flowers made out of egg cartons and colorful straws and paint. And so let me begin with the supplies that you will need. First of all, you are going to need an egg carton like this that you can cut up and you can actually make three flowers out of this. You are also going to need those straws and I used a glue gun to glue them to the egg carton. And I also recommend that you have a good work surface for your child like something that can just be thrown out like a, a grocery bag. This way they can make as much of a mess and it doesn't matter, you don't have to wash anything, you just throw this paper out. Now the other thing that you're going to need is tempera paint or poster paints or washable. And so this is what I've been using. And for this project, you want to make sure you have really nice, bright, spring-like colors. So I have a purple, yellow, a blue, orange, green, and like a pink, red, anything that feels like the spring flowers. And what's great about this project is it's great for children who really like layering on the paint. The egg carton absorbs a lot of paint and so they can make a layer and then they can add to it. They can use different colors, they can mix their colors. If they do the inside, encourage them to do the back. It will look so much nicer. Now, when you do one of these, it looks great, but they really work best when you have a whole bouquet. Oh, and one last thing, you can always add pom-poms to the centers, or you can even make a face on your flower. So this is a good painting craft because children really like to make a mess with painting, and this one allows them to and the egg carton really absorbs the paint. So let's get to the next one. The next one is this. It's a cardboard shaped flower that I've glued to a tongue depressor or large popsicle stick. Now, as you can see, this is made of cardboard, but you can also use a lighter weight board that will be easier to cut you can use a Kleenex, Kleenex box, just use the inside, and you could even use a, uh, a cereal box, and those will be easier to do. Now for this project, my supplies are very different. We're using colorful, spring-like uh, colors of yarn, and these are just scraps actually of yarn. And I also wanted to use tissue paper. It's a good craft to use with children and there's lots of things that can be done with it. Like the other project, this one has lots of options. You can do it in many ways. Now, you can be, take your flower and begin wrapping a piece of yarn. You can tie knots or you can tuck it under and just keep wrapping. Another possibility is you could put glue on your flower and layer the yarn and use Elmer's glue, not a glue stick because the yarn needs something like a, a real glue to hold it. Or you can do a pattern with different yarns, just like this one, only with many colored yarns. And another option is you can begin with the tissue paper and cover the surface of the flower with tissue paper. And then you can add yarn, 
if you want to. So, let me show you some finished ones that were done by children in the library. And they're all over the place. <laughs> Tissue paper, yarn. Oh, and I forgot, at the bottom on the stem, we tried to wrap green yarn and we put glue down to make it stick. And you will see all different ones. In this case, they just added the tissue paper to the petals. And you can also scrunch the tissue paper to get some height or texture, or you can leave it flat like that. And you can use different kinds of yarns that are sort of fuzzy and so on. Lots of different options. And so this is a great project. You can do tulip shapes. What's good about this shape is that with all these petals, it makes it very easy to wrap the yarn around. You just go from petal to petal. And you can wrap this way or you can wrap across. So this is another way to do a flower. And again, each one of these is nice but it's really nice to have a bouquet of them. Okay, so I hope, so make sure you cut out enough cardboard shapes so they can do lots of flowers. And now let me show you the last project we're going to do. It is another flower, and this is what it looks like, or, and, it's on the skewer, and this one, we use tape, which isn't that pretty. This is a better example where we glued the skewer inside before we finish the flower. And what's nice is you can spin it too. And if you don't want to make a flower with this, you could actually make a sun and maybe put the moon on the back. And so let me show you how these are done and the materials that we used. Okay. One of the main materials I used was scrap of paper, but you could also use construction paper and just cut it up, different colors. Another option is you can use wrapping paper. If you have small bits of leftover wrapping paper that are nice colors and nice patterns, cut those up and it will be perfect. I have um, in my town a curb alert that's connected to Facebook and people sometimes charge for materials and sometimes they give them away and they'll post it and you can say I'd like that and I have gotten wonderful scrapbook paper that way from people in my town that I use for all of the projects. Now like the last one you're going to use cardboard, or again, you could use an empty Kleenex box, which is easier to cut. And you're going to need a round shape. And you might make two of them and then put them together. And the skewer that you use, you would put in the center and glue it, and then glue these. Make sure you put the pointed end inside so the children can't hurt themselves. If you forget that, just put tape around the sharp end so no one will get injured. And you don't really need two pieces of cardboard. You can just use one. You put your skewer down and then you are going to put nice paper on either side. So you might do this and this. And then you begin decorating with circles, with the rectangular strips, and other things. So that is how it starts. And let me show you some of the shapes I have for decoration. Okay, these are these strips of scrapbook paper that we used as petals. And let me get so you can see the colorful petals. And we trim some of them. And so feel free to make them any length you want. Another option is I simply used color circles 
in different colors and that's an easy thing. Another thing I did is using my scrapbook paper, I cut out organic shapes out of the green scrapbook paper to make it look like the leaves and you can glue that on so that the stem has some leaves. And then I decorated using my scrapbook paper. I just cut lots of circles in different sizes, big circles and little ones. I also had a punch that was sort of a teardrop or petal shape and I used that too. And that was sort of a nice addition and it made it look like little petals on the inside of my flowers. And that's what those are. But you can do anything and anything you do will probably look good depending on the colors of your wrapping paper or scrapbook paper. And you can also add pom-poms or glitter or other things like that. And you can even make a moon if you would prefer or the sun. And again, you have another bouquet of flowers. So enjoy the spring and the real flowers, but come inside and make some of your own paper flowers. I'll see you soon. Thank you.